So we have the infrastructure there. Look, look at the ceiling. You see all these light bulbs. Go to the main floor. You see these light bulbs. Can we use them for communications? Wi-Fi is life to most of people, but what if internet is provided through light? Sounds awesome, right? This is what Wi-Fi is all about. Basically, your light bulb will act as your router. It stands for light fidelity and works as visible light communication system, or we can say VLC, which runs wireless communication through light that travel at very high speed. VLC is not newly introduced. Actually, Alexander Graham Bell may be better known as the person who invented VLC with the first practical telephone known as photophone. This photophone used the transmission of human speech on a beam of light. In the same path, Professor Harold Haas is pioneering his own light-centric wireless communication system called Li-Fi. Now, when we are comparing speed, Li-Fi is 100 times faster than Wi-Fi. In 2011, Professor Harold at the TED Talks demonstrated his vision for the future of wireless communication. Now let's talk about Li-Fi. Well, first I want to say that this is not recently introduced. It has been talked from around 2000 when Japanese researchers proposed the concept of communication through visible light in early 20s. The term Li-Fi was first coined by Professor Harold during TED Talks in 2011. That's good how data is transmitted through light source, but what's the difference between Li-Fi and Wi-Fi? Wireless fidelity or Wi-Fi runs on radio waves, whereas light fidelity or Li-Fi runs on light waves. Now in Wi-Fi or in routers, they require many components to generate frequencies like radio circuits, antennas, and complex receivers whereas in li-fi it uses direct modulation method simply as remote control units using infrared communication to control tv li-fi uses common household lights to enable data transfer boosting speeds of over 100 gigabits per second this light waves coming through light source is invisible to human eye the collected information from transmitted data is then interpreted by receiver this is conceptually similar to decoding morse code but in much faster rate so in speed connectivity data transfer li-fi leave wi-fi in dust but what if we turn off light or there is no electricity if all power to light is turned off there is no li-fi does li-fi works in dark area or dark room the answer to this is led bulb can be dim low enough that room can appear dark there will be an advantage to use li-fi where radio frequency waves don't reach like metal for example elevator there are many applications where li-fi can be used like airlines dance areas due to low interference underwater and operation theater in hospitals other limitation is that it can travel only up to 10 meters while wifi up to 35 meters based on antennas led bulb or any light source producing light waves can't travel through walls like radio waves but where is wifi it has been predicted that wifi will release to public by 2022 That's all guys. Thanks for watching. If you like our video, give the thumbs up. Consider subscribing and see you next time.